Good morning guys! How are you guys doing? It's a beautiful Thursday morning and I hope you guys are doing well. So, finally it's about to go down. It's about to go down. So, after several months of back and forth, after several months of doubts, several months of thinking, several months of doubt, several months of making research, several months of reading up, several months of so many things, fear, back and forth, thinking, you know, I am finally, <laughs> I am finally taking the first step and the bold step to get my business registered in Poland. Did you guys hear that? <laughs> Did you guys hear that? <laughs> so, I'm actually taking like the both step and the first step today to, you know, go out of my comfort zone, go out of that fear, go out of that back and forth, go out of that, ah, what if, is it the right time, excuses, fear, anxiety, everything that has to do with this phase. But today, I made up my mind yesterday night before I slept. I was like, first thing today, I am going there. Because now that my mind is made up, I just need to take that both step. If I delay it by a day, I'm going to go back to my show to start thinking, huh, do you think you want to register it? Do you think it's the right thing to do? Why can't you just wait a bit? So when I made up my mind yesterday night, I was like, you know what? First thing today, I'm going to dress up. I'm going to leave, I'm going to go there, and I'm going to face my fear. Because like, last, last, at the end of the day, I will eventually face the fear. It's just like, when do I want to face it, you know? Um, so I've made like a couple of research. I've, you know, like read about it. I've asked people, you know. Um, and I'm also going to say that they are not, from my own research or observation, they are not so much like a lot of people who have taken that step to like register like their business here so you know but actually i was able to reach out to people on you know social media thank god for social media where you can just like slide into people's dm and you know with time they'll definitely respond and that's to say that when you slide into people's dm to ask for certain things or help try as much as possible to state like or oh, whatever you want to say so i see people who just send dm and they're like hello who has time to be replying you with hi <laughs> and don't use words like hello dear hi dear stop it like who is your dear don't you know where your dear is stop using such words when you are reaching out to people on social media to ask for help i feel like those words should be used for people who you are a bit familiar with so when i open my dm and I'm saying like, hello dear, and I'm like, where is your dear, please? Like, just go straight to the point. Don't say, hello, I want to ask you a question. So, are you expecting me to now say, oh yeah, go ahead and ask the question? No, when you slide into people's name, state whatever you want to state. Hi, um, I saw your content based on this, and I'm interested in this, this, and this. I want to ask basic questions like this and this you know and the person so once the person clicks your message because obviously you're not the only one sending message to the person once the person open up your message the person has an idea of okay this is the question you're asking and this is the response that is not to say that when you now want to ask somebody question because i remember i got a dm i think this week and you sent like a whole page of different questions nobody has time to start alighting like your questions one after the other to answer them like i feel like before you ask certain questions try to make your own research yourself and make your questions very like specific and brief when you slide into people's dm you can't slide into dm and then you have like a whole page of questions who is going to be answering them one after the other that's going to be like waste of time and obviously um responding so dms can be a bit exhausting you know I, I know that i've not really grown you know and i'm also trying my best to respond to people maybe not 
immediately but i am putting in the effort to respond to people so i feel like when you reach out to people on their day be brief with whatever you want to say and just like ask your question directly so that aside so anyways i was able to like reach out to someone and then the person just like you know give me hints and i read up on it google searched it um you know and like yesterday i was like damn it uh, <laughs> enough of fear and this is just to say that that thing that you want to do that thing that you want to do that you're scared you're asking yourself one thousand and one question if you are watching this video now stand up enough of you analyzing how you want to do it enough of you thinking how you want to do it stand up and get it done so um today that's first thing i'm gonna do today i'm going to the office so basically you can feel like the form online and then you go to the office to submit it and note that this is a sole proprietorship business form of registration so they have like different form of registration they have for sole proprietorship they have for partnership they have for private limited company they have for company we are not there yet okay so the first and first is just as a sole proprietorship and this is also to make sure that any business or anything that i am doing i know that i am covered i am like legally covered to run a business here and that is also to say that if you are watching this video for the first time i am a fashion designer and i run a fashion brand so one of my goals also is also to bring in the fashion brand the african brand here directly so of course like people all over the world shop from our website but the production takes place back in africa which is nigeria i'm going to put the link to the shop below if you're interested in shopping why won't you be interested even if it's just like a hair drop or a t-shirt or a round neck something very little please go ahead and shop and just support like your baby girl you know it means a whole lot to me so um because like one thing about business is the ability to grow and also to expand and on that face you know while you are praying for expansion and while you are praying for growth you also have to make sure that you are also you know putting in the work or you are also creating capacity for growth and expansion when it comes to business so you are praying that you want your business to grow you want to expand you also have to like put in the capacity to ensure that when the growth comes you can actually undo it so let's say for an example so let's say for an example you usually have like one order in a month or in a week and you, you just have like one same machine you know of course your one same machine can produce one outfit in a week or in a day you know in as much as you are praying for growth in as much as you are praying that you want to get to the phase where you have like 10 orders in a day or okay let's say you have one order in a week right and you just have one machine of course your one machine can undo one order in a week so in as much as you are praying to increase you know your sales from one order in a week to 10 orders in a week you should also deliberately be creating the capacity to be able to undo it so that when such growth comes you have the capacity already to be able to undo it so if you are now praying that you know from one order in a week you want to expand your order base to 10 orders in a week you should also create capacity for it so maybe like get like an industrial machine whereby you know when the orders start coming you have the machine on ground that can actually cover for the capacity of your growth i don't know if you guys get what i'm trying to say basically but anyways today i'm taking like the both steps to get to the office and then to register it and also i'm going to bring you guys along so today is going to be a vlog and definitely 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 all the process are not going to be covered today because um from my research once you are done filling the form and everything they also have to like investigate and send some documents to your address and all of that thing you know but i'm definitely going to bring you guys along each step so today is going to be a vlog come along with me while we get it ready um so i'm going to keep you guys somewhere now and then i get ready so guys now i want to just like clean up my face i'm using this skin zona I'm using the skin to now just to like clean my face while I get ready to go and start the process <laughs> anyways I hope it goes on well so I'm just going to like clean my skin it's raining it's a bit um it's raining today actually it has started raining but I'm like you know what I'm still gonna go okay um 
next thing i go in is with this rose water i just go in with this rose water just to like hydrate my skin so that my skin doesn't look so dry you know especially like during the day and oh it just kind of like adds some brightness to the skin and then i also like clean up my neck and also my hair so for my body cream i make use of dove okay i make use of dove for yeah for my body lotion i'm going to show you guys like my full outfit at the end of the day so i don't know if you are <laughs> let me just say this okay so i don't know if you are the team that you know you cream your body after shower like you take your time to cream your body to cream your legs your tummy your back or are you the team that once you are done dressing you just literally cream your face and your hand let me know so for me i think basically i'm as you guys can see i'm literally dressed already so i just like cream my hands and my face and my leg if like what i'm putting on is exposing like my leg so i'll definitely just going to comb my hair and for my body spray i'll be making use of this romania and also i'll be mixing it with this deluxe um yeah it's actually raining so we have to smell nice okay one thing i also love to do is to make sure that my lips you know i always make sure that my lips are not dry i really hate like dry cracky lips so i always try to put on like this lip gloss just a little like to wet so let me show you guys like my full outfit okay <laughs> let me show you guys what my full outfit looks like okay i don't know if if it's showing like the full outfit so okay i think you guys can see it i just have this top and this um pants with this white sneakers and also this white sneakers and this is what it looks like it's given like so <laughs> it's just like this um pants choices and this white sneakers and this is what it's giving so for my documents on my bag i'm literally going with all my document because i know that there are documents that are required of me you know like my passports my pencil just in case if they mention like any any document at all that i need you know i have them in my file so i'm going with every of my documents so that's literally what i have and then because it's raining i will have to put on like a cardigan on top of this because definitely the weather is going to be too cold for this top that i'm putting on so i'm thinking between this um let me let me show you guys i'm thinking between this ash cardigan it's like ash with pink um details this is what it looks like either this cardigan or this white um um cardigan so this white cardigan i'm like oh my shoe is white i'm going with this white and black vibes so i can just like go with this so that it can complement the shoe but then i don't know if you guys can see it like this fabric is like a see-through um cardigan is like this net kind of cardigan i don't know if it's showing it's like a net cardigan it's literally not as thick as this ash one but this ash one is not gonna give me you know like the white kind of vibe so it's either i want to slay like giving white vibe and bear the consequences if the weather is too cold for that cardigan or i just wear like a thick cardigan and forget about the slay 
let me know what you guys think and then i'll see you guys let me just like pack up this place and then i'll see you guys on my way to get my so proprietorship business registered let's go so it's literally far from here i checked like the um i checked where it is in the google map it's literally far it's about 20 stops that's far but today i am facing it whether it rains or not whether it's far or not enough is enough of all the excuses i've been giving myself about this stage because like i'm praying for growth i'm praying for expansion i'm praying to you know be one of the biggest fashion um african print business if i'm praying for that i have to also put in the word work and be ready and create room or capacity for it so in order for me to be legal or in order for me to be able to have access to running a legal business here in europe i have to take this step to get it registered so while i'm hoping for ex expansion i have to put in the work so let's go now i'll put on my cardigan and then i'll catch up with you guys <laughs> So guys, I don't know if I showed you guys like this um, cardigan. I later went with this ash one because I can't be using beauty and then get um, very cold. So I got in there and I told her I wanted to register like my business and a sole proprietorship business, you know, not partnership, not a company, just like a sole proprietorship. Um, so she now asked me for my passport and then I showed her my passport. So first thing first she was like i am not from europe like like originally from europe because of course my passport is still like a nigerian passport and because it's a nigerian passport i need to make sure that i have trc so trc simply means resident temporary trc temporary resident card so basically because I'm, I'm very real, I'm bringing, I'm showing you guys like the hustling part and also like the good part. Um, I don't want to just come up here, you know, in months time and be like how I got it. So let me show you guys like the rejection or the process of how it actually went. So I, so basically when you are coming from Nigeria or Africa, your visa is going to be one year. So let's say you are studying a two years course or a three years course, your visa is just going to be one year, right? So after the one year of your study visa, you will now renew it, you know, and that will be your TRC, temporary residence card, right? So just ignore the lights because I feel like it's too bright, but let's see if we can reduce it. Okay, I think I've been able, I don't know, but let's just pay attention to what I'm saying and ignore the lights because it's actually like very cold and it's rained, so it's a bit um, dark. Okay, so because I'm not from Nigeria originally, right, uh, my passport is still like a Nigerian passport. So um, I showed her my passport, although my visa expires in November, right? But I have applied for my TRC in July. And I feel like it's advisable that you ad apply for your TRC even before your visa expires. So that by the time you have your TRC, your, you can have your TRC before your visa expires, right? So um, when you apply for your trc they're going to stamp your passport and then once it's ready you pick up the trc in form of a card i don't know if you guys want me to do like a video of how to apply for trc and the documents required if you want me to make a video about that you can just let me know in the comment section and i'm gonna um and i'm going to do a video on that you know so she now said that because I'm not from European country, I'm from Nigeria, I need to get that TRC before I'll be able to register the business. So she said um, when, if they approve the TRC, which shows that um, I also have permission to stay in Poland for another year or like to stay in Poland, then I can come with the TRC card and they will now check the card to see if the card will enable me to sign up for a business you know to register for a business again and she also mentioned something like um 
because the card is going to enable me to work which is like trc of course as a student here your visa also enables you to work that um do we have to scan the card or go through the card to know if i'm also permitted to use the card to set up a business and if not then they'll definitely tell me things i need to do to you know things i need to do to get the business registered but first thing first i need that card although my visa has not expired and i was like what about the visa she said no the visa does not permit you to start up a business what actually gives like the permission is the trc which is a temporary resident card so um i signed up in july so let's say this is august i don't know how long it's gonna take for the trc card to actually come out but of course once i get the trc like she said i should come back to her and then they'll check this trc card scan it go through it and know if it allows me to start up a business and if otherwise they'll tell me what next to do so because i'm keeping it real here on this channel i don't want a situation whereby i just come up to say oh i finally registered my business this is how it went this, i am going to show you guys like the process and you know the good part and the bad part so the bad part now is that i will not be able to do that until when i eventually get my trc in about a couple of months so once my trc is out i will come back to the office and then you know we can start the vlog again so thank you so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you do please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and i hope this video has been able to educate someone who you know is a student and also open to start up a business or to register a business here in poland um and i hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching i'll definitely of course see you guys in my next video. Bye!